Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. We're supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Whoa, dude! Ah. Oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here! Sure. It's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? Huh? Right, tickets, please. Ah! Ah! A mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a chrome sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep! Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Mirages from the Mahabujan <laughs> army! <laughs> 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 
Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, Lawn! All right, you Bahamoos. What's your beef, huh? You and make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know it's at stake? <laughs> just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? The smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the mirage already has another the master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Or whoever wrote that little hook in. Lon, Ixnay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't. I mean. Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. But, Ron, don't tell her. Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm like exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly stop by Castle Cornelia? So let's find this Casa Cornelia's place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Nice armor. Leave them alone, please.
Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like, that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Man, Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? What? what are you even talking about? There's nothing mm. the wrong with the way uh, I smell! Mm. You think the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Giants from the hills, as in Ninewood Hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things? But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages and grimoire. Not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the Federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Grandalus's herald lieutenants known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, 
Wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you've done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then. May I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right! So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down... the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula. A network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted oh. in the nebula. You may well end up dead. That's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit.